welcome everyone, it's Sylvia here and today's photos are all about my little girl and I am documenting this period in her life where she is fixated on wearing necklaces. Now uh, in these photos she is wearing this cheap little necklace from some $2 store that she found, fell in love with and of course I bought it for her. But it had a bit of a side effect in the sense that she didn't want to wear any clothes, she only wanted to wear her necklace. I would put clothes on her and the clothes would come off and she would come out with just this one accessory, the necklace. So I thought it was time to document these photos before I forgot all about the story that went along with them. This layout is all about using my stash. I actually got into my paper stash and I found this gorgeous paper. It's from Hazercraft. It's from the Antiques Collection and it is called Treasured. And I love all those blue undertones and all the shades of blue in it. I just thought it really helped the photos pop. As you can see, I'm just auditioning different Things from my stash. I just pulled out lots of things that I've just been hoarding for years and tried to see what worked. And in the end, I decided I would cut this little bit of the branding paper, but I'm actually going to keep it because I do land up using that as well. I love the fact that it says my life is full because I know that I'm loved. And I hope that that is something that my little girl remembers for the rest of her life. This is another of the papers that I picked and this is from Scrap Boys and it's from the Dream Garden and I absolutely love this paper. I just saw it in my stash and I went, wow, why haven't I used this before? I absolutely love it. And I end up doing a lot of fussy cutting. All those flowers get fussy cut and the little tin and of course I'm going to cut the birdie out because I don't want the birdie. So everything lands up being fussy cut. Fussy cut it, is that a word? Anyway, but as you can see, I've done all the all the flowers are cut and that's the lands up being a scrap piece of paper for later on. I even cut out that lovely little wheel and that lands up being covered up and look make I make it look like it's all part of the, the layout and it has it all been fussy cut, but I just love the layers that this gave. Now, I will admit that I spent a considerable amount of time trying to get all the flowers in exactly the right position. This layout was really a labour of love. It's a very simple layout, but trying to get everything in its rightful spot did take a considerable amount of fussing around and trying to get everything perfect. I do like the end result, but I just wish I'd made decisions a little bit faster than I do. Off camera, I do land up matting my photos using the rest of that scrap piece of paper called Dream Garden and love the look of that. And I did adhere most of the, all that fussy cutting that I did earlier, except for all that lovely basket of flowers. I was so desperately trying to get that basket onto this layout, but unfortunately, in the end, I just couldn't make it work. And I have this lovely board. It's from Dusty Addicts. I absolutely love it. It says love these photos and I just knew that I was going to use this chipboard on these photos because I do love these photos as frustrated as this period of her life was with her wanting to just wear a necklace as an accessory and no clothes um I do love these photos and I'm glad that I did take the photos and documented this funny little memory that I'm sure I'm going to use at her 21st birthday one of the other embellishments I used is that lovely little scrap words. It's from uh, Scrap Mats. So they're an Australian company and it just says, remember this moment, this day, forever. And I absolutely love it. And I'm just going through my stash and just trying to work through and seeing what else I can use. I really did want to use that little brad there but it just did not make it onto the layout. As hard as I tried, it, I just couldn't make it work. And that's the thing about scrapbooking, sometimes you really want to use something, but for some reason or another, it just doesn't work. This is my little box where I keep all my little pink embellishments and ephemera and anything else that's pink that I might use in future layouts. It usually lands up in this box. I spent some time colour coordinating all my ephemera and embellishments. I fell in love with this tag. I love the actual decoration or the pattern at the top of it. And that gave me the idea that I really needed to do some journaling on this layout. 
So here I am, I'm just going to press the tag out with a pencil and then cut it out using my favourite fussy cutting scissors. So there's my tag, it's all cut out and this is where I thought, oh, I don't like it just plain pink. So I'm going to give it a, another layer of that gorgeous scrap piece of paper that I've got so that it ties in with the photos. So it's the same paper that I used to map my photos. So before I match my little tag, I'm just going to use my favourite ink. This is a Mementos ink and it's, I believe it's called Grey Flannel. And I love this ink because it's not quite black, but it just gives you that hint of black without it being overpowering, if you know what I mean. I really did put a lot of work into this journaling tag. I decided now that it needed an extra matting, so I just did a mat of some black cardstock. And there you see me just poking a little, well not poking a hole, but using a hole punch to put a little hole. And then just for a, just to soften the look of that pink and because everything else seemed to have like a dusty look to it, I'm just using that grey flannel with my little blending tools just to add a bit more grey into it and soften the pink look. And then I, what did I do here? Oh yeah, I'm just drawing some lines because I'm one of these people I cannot write straight. Whenever I write, it lands up slanting up or slanting down so I really do need those lines to guide me and I just did my journaling what you're seeing on the screen is basically the layout I had to find a journaling spot for my not a journaling spot I had to find a spot for my journaling and in the end it just lands up going just right where it is in that bottom right hand corner and here I am once again trying to get that lovely basket of flowers onto the layout and I just could not make it work. So this is where I start auditioning different embellishments from my little pink box and I love these flowers. They are actually a sticker and I just tried it on some pink cardstock. It didn't really work so I just stick it down on some white cardstock and this is what I tend to do with stickers. I, because I'm so undecisive, I just like to stick my stickers onto um, scrap card stuff that's lying around and then I just do fussy cutting and that way I have an embellishment that I can move around and that's one of those lovely butterflies that I don't think I use that butterfly on this layout but I do use another one similar so once again I'm fussing around with my little basket of flowers which really doesn't make it onto the layout I think this is where I give up on it and I see this gorgeous butterfly and I went, yes, it's going down and it looked perfect there. And that actually went down really quickly. Now that little sticker there that says, what does it say? You are the sweetest. So this is where I start my little fussy cutting. Sorry, I've edited all that fussy cutting out and I've got my little flower. Not sure where I'm going to place it. So once again, I fuss around with the flower, move things around. And my gosh, did I spend... So much time trying to make things work but I put the I did play around with the flower for quite some time before it finds its permanent home and here is some more stash busting I found this little tray and it's got all these lovely little sequences but this sequence that I'll end up using it's like it's in the shape of a little flower petal and I'll end up putting it in the center of my flowers just the two flowers that were from my sticker sheet and from my stash I also had that lovely little banner and the banner says you are my happiness and it's a lovely soft grey and because the blue paper has got sort of shades of grey coming through I thought that that was going to work quite well. So that is the exact spot where that little banner lands up going. I just thought it worked really well with the flower and things are finally starting to get come together. I am so glad that I finally made a dent in that big box of pink embellishments and ephemera and the oh yes that's another one of the lovely word tags that I'm going to be using and it goes exactly there and that says it says you are the sweetest and I just thought that that was so appropriate because she is so sweet I mean she's got a mind of her own and she is a handful but she's also a very sweet little girl here all you see me doing is drilling a little hole that I can use a brad on that wheel and I love how that looks and as you can see on the tag I've got a I've got some thread there but I'll end up taking that out and I'll put another brad there just to tie it in with the brad that I used on the wheel and here I am fussing around with my title. love these photos 
So where you see the remember this moment, stay forever, that's exactly where that stays. I don't know if I've adhered it down yet, but it does stay there. And I'm just going to stick down that lovely little saying that was the branding strip from my paper that I cut earlier. And this is where I start putting in another little brand to tie it all in. I, I am so glad that I did some sash busting. This is where I thought, oh, I need to add a bit more black. I just had to balance things out a bit. So I used another one of those scrap mats and it says simple pleasures in life. And my chipboard, I thought, what am I going to do? So I am going to do some embossing. I'm just adding some embossing ink to my chipboard. And then I'm going to use some black embossing powder from my stash. And I just love how that looks. I love this embossing powder. It has like a little glitter effect. But you couldn't really see the words love these photos. So I'm just getting a, I think this is a uh, paint pen, a white paint pen. I'm just going over it so that you can see that it is these there. Otherwise, it just all looked like it blended together. So coming towards the end of the layout. And this is where I decided that I somehow needed to frame this layout of mine. And I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. I knew that I didn't want to do a match like I normally do. I just thought that was going to be too harsh for this for this particular layout. So I got out my Distress Oxides and I believe this colour is Soot or Black Soot. And I'm just using my lovely blending tools here and just going around and just adding a bit of a haze around all four sides of this layout. And I absolutely love the effect it has. And even though the colour is black, it just seems to soften everything up and draw your eye to the centre of the layout. And that, my friends, is the layout. So there are some close-ups for you coming up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the whole process of this layout. And next time, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And hit that like button because it really does help my channel to grow. And believe me, I need all the help I can get. So enjoy the close-ups. And until next time, stay safe, everyone. And bye for now.